Speaking of cold weather, hundreds braved the cold today to celebrate Canfield and South Range's big wins. First News reporter Abigail Cloutier headed out to the Canfield Green for the festivities. Excitement cut through the air, even through the cold, at a parade today for the Canfield and South Range state champions. The sound of cowbells filled the air as hundreds lined the road along 46 and Canfield Village Green to celebrate the Raiders and Cardinals' historic wins. Melissa Miller's son plays in Canfield's band, and they spent the season traveling with the team. Just so proud of them. I know these, you know, football players have worked so hard. The band supported the cheerleaders, everybody in the community. It was just a fantastic event at, in Canton. Police, several fire departments, and even some draft horses escorted the teams and bands to the green. There, Canfield alumnus and state representative Al Catrona discussed how proud he is of the teams. You guys have made history. We're proud of you. Clearly, you have the size of this crowd here, guys. This is awesome. And presented a resolution celebrating the state champs. Congratulations. I'm glad to be a part of it. I'm glad to say that I'm the only state rep who has got two in their districts. So. Canfield Mayor Don Dragish honored both South Range. Do hereby declare December 18th, 2022 as South Range High School State Football Championship Day. And Canfield. I there, therefore do hereby declare December 18th, 2022 as Canfield High School Day Football Champions Day. Dragish also presented Canfield head coach Mike Pavlansky with the key to the city. We have worked hard to achieve this title, and it would not have been possible without hardship and determination. In Canfield, Abiel Cloutier, WKBN 27 First News.